Okay, carrying on with brushes, what we're going to do now is select a pretty standard brush, which is actually called the standard brush, and we can press S, and we can go down to the standard brush here. So we have this model here, I'm just going to choose a side that's not affected, and I want to show you what we can do with the brushes. Now, a quick way of being able to change the brush size, and quite a lot of other things, is to actually go over the canvas area, that's not on the model, the canvas area, and press and hold the space bar. This will allow you to change things like the brush size, focal shift, and there's things like the Z intensity. So while we're on the Z intensity, I want to show you what it does. It actually says the intensity of the stroke. So if I took this and put this onto zero, and then I drew across this, there's going to be no change. It's because my Z intensity is zero. You can see it up here as well. So I'm going to press that space bar again, and now I'm going to bring it up to halfway, sort of like 20, 20. And now when I draw, you're going to see that it will affect the surface. So now I'm going to turn this right the way up to 100, and now we're going to draw it. Now you can see it's really affected it. So Z intensity is the intensity of the brush. Okay, right, so something else we need to look at is the actual stroke itself. At the moment, we are just adding to this stroke by going in here and adding. I've got my Z intensity at 100, so I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So you can see I'm adding to this. But if I click this little button here, I can now subtract, subtract so I can push in or I can push out. Now there is also a shortcut, I'm on Z add as I drag. If I hold the Alt key and I click and drag, it will invert the selection. So I can hold the Alt key, I can add to it by not touching the Alt key. And then if I want to take away, I can hold the Alt key and I can drag. And this happens with every brush. So every brush that you've got, if you go to another brush, for instance, such as a Damien Standard, and I was to use this, you can see I can cut in. If I hold the Alt key, I can pull out. So that Alt key is a handy shortcut to know. If you don't, if you've forgotten the shortcut, you can come up here and you can just change these over, which basically does what the Alt key does on the keyboard. So this is really important to remember that you can actually inverse an action of a brush by using the Alt key or you can use the Z add, Z sub and you can also change the intensity of the brush by changing the Z intensity.